No, I have a good idea with three days to go who's going to, you know, we have it planned out, to be honest, you know, who's going to play when um, live game situations and who could finish a game, who, all those type things. So, yeah, it's planned out. What about your defensive tackle rotation? Mm -hmm. Do you feel better about it now or kind of where you were a couple weeks ago with it? What do you what do you feel like you are with your tackles? Well, I think there's, you know, we've got three quality guys that can go in there and play with Jordan Williams, O'Brien, and uh, Owen Williams. So, you know, those three will get the majority of the playing time. There's mixing still. Yeah, coming along, way. developing. Yeah, I like him. And he adds a dimension. He adds athleticism and speed to the field. Um, maybe not as physical and big as the other guys. And then at the end, you feel pretty good with Ford? Yeah, I do. You know, I, I think you you got Majit coming in at times. you got Barnett and you got Vereen. And then you've got uh, Hendricks over there and Troy Lewis. So I, I feel good at the end rotations. What is it when you look at Utah State that just is – is the hardest thing for the defense. Well, I, I think that they're a tempo offense. First of all, they're going to do things fast. And when you look at games like their Southern Cal game last year, they had Southern Cal on their heels because of their tempo. Obviously, Chucky at quarterback is always a concern. And, you know, I think the maturity of their team, you know, they have some older players and I, they're used to winning. And so it, it'll be a great challenge. Are you better equipped to handle a mobile quarterback simply because you're more athletic, or is it not that simple? Uh, oh, I believe we are. I, I absolutely believe we are. You know, obviously we're working very hard at it also, but I think just because we are m much more athletic, that makes us uh, much more prepared for an athletic quarterback. Steve, obviously you guys are breaking in off a lot of new guys, some inexperienced guys. Mm -hmm. just what are your expectations? You've been around them all offseason, seeing them all month. Just what's your, what's your expectation? Well, yeah, the first expectation would be play hard. You know, play with the mentality. Um, that's that's the challenge I just gave them after practice. Is we need to go out there and show a defensive line mentality, which is being physical and playing hard. We're not going to be perfect. We're going to make mistakes. We've got some young guys that got to grow up. But as long as we're playing hard and playing physical and displaying that defensive line mentality, we'll be okay. Steve, does that mean you have to have extra patience, knowing how many inexperienced you guys, players you guys are going to play, or is that just an in-game, just feel how they're reacting to you? Patience is not a good word. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I'll say this: I think it takes knowledge as a coach. You know, don't put them in situations that they can't be successful in. We always talk about coaching for success, so put them in situations, make calls that make them successful. Don't don't add stress to their life. So, I think with our defense, we have to be able to do that. Can you be as aggressive as you want when you go against a mobile quarterback? Well, you can as long as it is uh, coached up like we, we call them points on the quarterback based on how many men are coming. They all have assigned points. And I think in a game like this, you just have to be very conservative and making some aggressive moves. But you can be as aggressive as you want to as long as you're on your point on the quarterback. So, again, I think that's where athleticism comes in and helps you out. Will you be lim limited in the number of looks you can give them because of your youth? No, I don't think so. You know, I think from day one we've uh, – we took the whole part, whole method. You know, we introduced a lot, then we went back and refined things. So I, I think we'll be a multiple front. Is it challenging to not put a guy in a bad situation with the tempo that they play because you can't rotate as much? Now, that would be true. Tempo sometimes will expose you because you maybe aren't able to get the right personnel out there, those type things. And so you, those are uh, the conditions you have to practice for and be able to play through. I'm sure you got this question already, but mm -hmm. you don't want Chuck to keep in the mm -hmm. we're all challenging. Well, you know, I think you, you look at them comprehensively that they're a, a team that plays with tempo, and that's one issue. And then on top of that, you've got a mobile quarterback. That's a separate issue. So, you know, um, being able to handle tempo is the first thing, being able to get lined up and play. And then after the ball is snapped, then being able to uh, keep your points on Chucky. So, you know, it, it's a two-headed monster. Well, you How are you guys preparing for the tempo? What have you, you guys done in practice just to get these guys used to it? Well, thankfully, our offense is a tempo offense, so right. we practice it all the time. You know, it's just that uh, certain teams utilize certain situations and when they use tempo and then you, through film work you try to identify that and make your team aware of those situations. Are you, um, uh, as far as their personnel around Chucky Key, are you mm -hmm. impressed with the running back and the receivers, the weapons that he has around him? Well, I am. You know, the running backs are good. And, you know, when I'm, you know, coming off uh, – an injury last year just like Chucky is. So I think they're a little bit untested. You know, their offensive line has mostly been replaced. Four of the five are, are you know, new. So I, I think on their part, too, they have some uh, question marks and, and some issues. What's the best 